our registered dietitian, Carrie Glassman, is here to show us how to put together a diet on a dime. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Let's get started. We know that rice is cheap. It, you say if you're going to do rice, go brown. Go brown, obviously, it's a whole grain, so it's not going to be stripped of all those nutrients. You're going to get selenium, which is an antioxidant. You're also going to get manganese, which is very helpful for energy production. And then, of course, the fiber, the protein, and all of those excellent B vitamins. But you want to mix it up. Have rice as a side dish, make a stir fry, put it in soup. There's so many ways mm -hmm. to eat it. A quarter cup uncooked is 10 cents. You cannot beat that. It goes a long way. One big bag of rice can last a family a long time. If we're going to make a stir fry, can we use frozen veggies, which are we know cheaper than fresh. Are they just as nutritious? They are cheaper. They actually can be even more nutritious really? because when frozen vegetables are picked, they're actually picked at their peak nutrient value, meaning that when fresh vegetables are picked, they're often not completely ripe, so you're not getting as many nutrients. And then some of those nutrients are lost from being exposed to oxygen and light and heat. These are flash frozen, so you retain all the nutrients. So it's an excellent value. Do not think you're skimping on your nutrients just because you're going on frozen. On the contrary. And you can use exactly. them in so many different ways. So many different ways. Start at breakfast, throw them in an omelet, make a side dish, throw them into a salad, make like here a pasta primavera. Mm. And then fruit, of course, make even sauces with fruit or make a smoothie. Throw them on even to a salad. All right, fish. We want your family to eat fish, but it can get expensive. Of Carrie. course. Fish can be very expensive at the grocery store. Canned fish is one of my favorite ways to really up the nutrients and the protein you're consuming for very little money. Three ounces of canned fish is only going to be 62 cents. That's excellent. And you're going to get lots of those omega-3s and protein. Omega-3s, we and you know. you feel totally fine serving this to your family as a meal. Absolutely. Oh. Especially these sardines. We have a salmon burger here. You can do so many different things with them. Put them on even on a cracker for a snack. Even throw them into an omelet. There's so many ways to use canned fish. And again, those omega-3s are going to be good for everything from weight loss to improving your mood to even research has shown prevent strokes. So again, I love canned fish, Would especially that salmon. Would you limit the intake? Well, again, you don't want to overdo it because of the mercury, okay. but even like chunk light tuna can be better. And then obviously salmon, we know you still want to watch, mm -hmm. but absolutely fine. Okay. Eggs we know are inexpensive, but I, I don't think you can have too many. I mean, I think you can have too many eggs. Well, you can overdo the yellows, but again, research has shown that actually dieters who are on a calorie restricted diet, when they are, eat eggs for breakfast, they actually lose more weight, which can sometimes outweigh the bad, you know, the bad, the cholesterol that you might be consuming from the eggs. And again, it's not cholesterol found in eggs that's necessarily as bad for your blood cholesterol. It's the saturated fat found in other th foods like fried foods oh. and things like that. So do not skimp on the eggs. Excellent. High High protein value. I love them. Even for a snack on a cracker, excellent value. Another good uh, protein alternative, beans. You don't have to have meat beans. with every meal. Again, yes, you don't have to have uh, meat with every meal. A vegetarian meal is an excellent option. Again, you don't have to be a vegetarian to make two or three meals a vegetarian meal. And again, these are 14 cents for a quarter cup uncooked. Excellent value. And vegetarians, we know, have a lower risk of cancer. So again, good for your wallet, good for your health. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Carrie Glassman.